global pandemic has definitely caused a wave of emotions, different emotions across the, the world right now. But as of today in the United States, we have 379,000 deaths. And um, Ms. Blue just told us that 4% of the population in the county has COVID actively. And that is a lot for a very rural area. And then when you're thinking about it, Williamsburg, a city you know, in which I go to school, has less cases than Northumberland County, a town. That, that is ridiculous. Mm -hmm. And the issue here is that people are not willing to listen to science. People are not willing to listen to facts. But I digress. So <laughs> we're going <laughs> to open up this conversation with talking about the positive, the positives of the pandemic. Um, how has the pandemic uh, positively affected you when it comes to you know social, socially, economically, academically, rural students, that kind of thing? What what good has come out of the pandemic? Because there has to be something. I think that one thing that one positive thing about the pandemic is that um, it's helped me build stronger connections with my friends, um, not being able to like see each other all the time and family, of course, like um, we had to do a family Zoom call with over like 50 people on Christmas Eve. Um, and so I think that shows like um, just like even when you take away like being able to in person, meet people in person, you still like have that aspect of like if people care about you, like they'll still find a way to keep connecting with you and um, building a foundation of relationship with you. Um, I think another thing, this is just for me personally, I had um, a sports injury my senior year of high school. So being in quarantine, my like one thing I really had to focus on was like getting my left knee, I had an ACL tear. Mm -hmm. So that was definitely, um, I had a lot of time to just recover. So I guess like my physical, like health and well being was something that I was able to um, put a lot more effort into than if I wasn't in the pandemic. That, um, like I already mentioned that I did, I just spent a lot of time building my faith just out of a, a, a need really, because you need faith in moments like this. And uh, one of the things I came across is of course, the, uh, there was a theologian, a pastor speaking about the hundreds of years in between the Old Testament and the New Testament. And generally that's seen as a period where God didn't say anything, where um, he was absent in people's lives. But people forget that during that period, the Hellenistic Empire with Alexander, Alexander the Great, um, I believe this is historically accurate, uh, spread Greek across the Levant and parts of Europe. And they also built the road system. Uh, so when Jesus came and the New Testament started, uh, they were not only able to communicate with everyone uh, and spread the gospel, but they were also able to travel places they were never able to travel before, or it was just harder to do so. Yeah, essentially, the lesson is, is that in hard times, you're usually being prepared for something great to come. And I think that uh, during this time, It's not over yet. It may even last a little bit longer. I know a lot of people are, I understand a lot of people are fatigued. I would even say that some people who are in the beginning doing everything correctly, doing everything they were supposed to do, are just tired of continuing to follow those certain protocols. And it's because of people who are irresponsible from the beginning, whether it is the, your neighbor or your friend who is not doing what they're supposed to do, or quite frankly, the federal government not having a plan. There is a plan, of course, but it, it's not very effective and it's not effective as it could be. So I, I, I just I just think that uh, that's just all to say that out of this, I, I know something good will come. Uh, I know people spend more time with their families. Um, and learn more about their families and about their relationships than ever. Um, you know, including my family. I know that some people, they may have um, realized that our academic system is broken. And there's a real problem if our, if our school being closed increases the amount of suicide, mm -hmm. increases the amount of abuse, increases the amount of uh, substance abuse. Uh, our country should not be dependent on teachers to keep us safe and keep us healthy. Um, I, I think this is showing the cracks in our system. And 
those who are able to, those who are struggling, we must help. But those who are able to have to start thinking creatively of how we use this moment to learn and how we build out of it uh, to, to become a better society, a better country after the fact. Because um, like I said, it's a real cracks in the, central, in the system. And like all things we've had to overcome, um, you know, you, you're going to have to come up better. You can't go back to the old ways. Uh, so I hope that happens not only on the individual, with the individuals, but on the larger national, international scale. That's really cool. It's like God was prepping the world for Jesus. Yeah, like, um, it took a long time too, longer than a year. Yeah, that's really, I would have never put that together. But yeah. same to my faith and um, getting to a place with God and like relation that I could understand understand things better about myself because um and like my relationship with masculinity and what like what it means for me as a black male. Uh, growing up in America during this time without a father and uh, without like a male figure and um, so I I because I think isolation leads to introspection and you just get to certain places with yourself when you're alone that you don't when you're bombarded by outside stimulation like I'll do social media fast and just I'll journal and stuff like that and um, so something that I took out of that is uh, respect for myself and accepting myself more because something I've always dealt with is like not being into or displaying those characteristics that are traditionally black and male. Um, so yeah, that's something I really struggled with a lot, especially coming through like I was homeschooled for a long time upon reintegrating into public school, I was bullied really badly. So there were a lot of like hurdles that I had to get over in um, mindsets and ways of thinking. And I think I got through a lot of that, through that isolation. graduating college senior, um, I saw a lot of empathy. I mean, professors were literally taking assignments out of their syllabi um, because they knew that there were certain students who didn't have access to internet or didn't have access to a laptop. And I mean, just to the point where they knew that their family members were dying. So I think the, the pandemic really brought a lot of good out of people and individuals by realizing that we are we are all in different situations and you never know what people are going through. For me personally, it was a time of reflection and especially with my mental health as a black man. Um, I was speaking to somebody earlier this week how I never wanted to come to terms that I suffered with anxiety and depression until this pandemic. Because it, by isolating myself, I said, okay, yes, I do have a problem. And I think it also helped a lot of other people realize that they had struggles that they never even knew that they were dealing with on the daily. Thank you for sharing that. I'm sure that was not easy for you to share. I'm an introvert and I <laughs> continue to say this entire time that uh, um, social distancing is the one thing that, one social thing that an introvert is good at. So I, I loved it. Um, I've had a lot of time with my, my family, um, my little brothers. Once you go to college, it's hard on you as a college student, especially coming from a small town, but most people don't think about how hard it is on little kids who don't have their, uh, big siblings around anymore. So I know, um, my sister is really into baking, so we've had like cookie decorating contests. We, I'm into painting, so we've had like painting contests, it's been really fun. Um, Another thing is I've been really taking my health seriously. Um, I've been getting myself back on track, which is something I always put in the closet and didn't think about because it's, it's something I just don't like talking about. Um, and then I've been reading a lot. Um, I just came to the library yesterday to get some books um, because 
Once I went to college, I kind of stopped and I started reading a lot for my classes, which isn't fun. So it made me think like, oh, I don't like reading anymore. But now that I'm reading for my own personal interest, I'm having a lot more fun. I'm really happy to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think this pandemic affected me in a, in a more positive light than negative by far. The positive outweighs the negative. I would say socially, I was forced to have conversation. Um, even with school, having doing four classes online, remote and synchronous. Um, you couldn't rely on group projects, and I've always hated group projects because I, I I try really hard. I put a lot of effort in, and sometimes that's not reflected well in group projects. I liked that I could tell how determined I was with all of my my um, academic tasks. I liked that I could speak my mind. Um, I talk a lot, but I don't often speak my mind. Um, so I, I really found myself through this pandemic. Um, academically, I had been out of school for a year and a half, I think, battling medical retirement from the Army. Um, so I was coming back to a pandemic and then Zoom, and I had no idea what Zoom was. I was like the grandma of my classes. Um, it was definitely something that I had to adjust to, but I did. Um, I got all A's and one A minus this semester, so I did pretty well. Um, I got to spend a lot of time with my family, like my sister said, so that was that's always a good time. Um, and I think physically, um, as it relates to health, I've had two hip surgeries, so I kind of got to reflect upon my medical journey, um, how far I have come and how far I still have to go. But just all of those things made me more um, faithful. I, I knew that I got here because of God, so that, that helped me get through, you know, the, the negativity of this year, because there was a lot of negativity. Um, but I think when you have faith, and like they say, faith is little, as small as a mustard seed, um, it can really get you through a lot. All right, we're here with Tierra and Destiny, and we're talking to them about the things that they had to go through during the COVID-19 pandemic. First of all, we're gonna ask, what positive things have you all been able to accomplish? Destiny? Well, I've been able to read a lot of books and finish school in two months versus a whole year. And Tiara? Uh, I grew closer to my family and I am almost finished school. What is it about the pandemic you didn't like? We're gonna start with Tiara. Um, being isolated and taking away from the few friends that I have. And Destiny? Not being able to finish my senior year in high school. If you had to do this all over again and you knew you were gonna be shut down at home. What kind of things do you think you would have done? Uh, I would have gotten my transcripts earlier so that I could have started school in August versus in September. Tiara? Um, I would have probably done some other things in school, in middle school, if I knew I wasn't gonna end up going to high school. Did your grade average change by going to homeschool instead of regular school? How about you, Destiny? Yes, I didn't have as many um, distractions, I guess you could say. It was just a whole lot easier. So your grade average went up? Yes. How about you, Tiara? Uh, mine relatively stayed the same. Do you like being home?
about you, Destiny? Um, sometimes. <laughs> because sometimes I like to just sit around in my room and read a book or play video games. How many books have you read this year? Oh, that's a good question. More like 50. Yeah, I would have to say around 50, if not more. How about you, Tiara? Have you read any more books than usual? I actually went down a lot than before. No, I went down in books and reading. Mm. I now read like less than half of what I used to. What kind of things do you do as a family? We drive around and take pictures. I did that. <laughs> um, we argue and play games. Mm -hmm. We yell at each other and play games. We fight. How about cooking? We're teaching our little brother how to cook. They said I couldn't do that no more. <sighs> So, since both of you are at home together, would you consider yourselves very blessed to have each other? Sometimes.